Hey Water Science and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing Cancer Pisces Scorpio single and couples love reading for the day. This message will resonate with you when it's meant to so it when you see it that's when there's something in there for you to pay attention to. I will try to timestamp these um, to make it easier to navigate through because I will be doing it by zodiacs, by singles, by couples. So there'll be six different readings. Um, I am going to begin to start doing my dailies live because the amount of videos I'm trying to upload a day, it's just not possible. So that will cut down on me having to upload them and bog down my other videos I'm trying to upload. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified daily when I'll be on. Make sure you hit that bell because I've been on live a couple times lately and they're, and it's not notifying people. So make sure you do that. I would much appreciate it. All right. We will start with cancer singles. Cancer, I just did your uh, monthly reading and your extended reading. It's uploading now. It is absolutely amazing, the things that came out for you. So check it out. You are truly at a turning point in your life right now. You are truly um, at a pivotal point where decisions need to be made. But, oh my goodness, is victory coming for you in so many different levels. So check it out. All right, Cancer Singles, what is your focal or your focus point of the day? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All right. So, Cancer Singles, let's get the situation of the day. Cancer single spirit and angels, please bring me all messages that cancers need to know today. In love, help bring them clarity and direction in their love life. All right, so your current situation is the Queen of Wands with the Six of Pentacles. So either you're dating around or the person that you're wanting to. Uh, settle down with is dating around but somebody is uh not focusing on the a connection with you at the moment let's get our recent past for cancer singles the page of wands so you guys could just have recently met this person actually um is very young in the energy it didn't start too long ago um they could be younger to you in age or you to them whoever whoever the one is that wants to settle down is the younger one um, and the one that isn't sure is the older one so let's get your near future future energy coming in for you wow two of cups bottom of your deck and foundation to your reading is the king of wands crowning it all is the justice clarified with the or i'm going to take the ace of pentacles too because, like I said, you're at a turning point. Your karmic debts have been paid. Uh, your lessons have been learned, and it's time for you to move forward. And in the time of Libra, you are having a huge, huge door of opportunity opening up for the potential with a perfect vibrational match who will give you that soulmate kind of love. This is a, this is a pretty big deal for you, Cancer Singles. Like, this is pretty much how your um, other reading went to. It's just like, it's here for you. You're about to have victory. You just need to, um, oh my goodness, you need to make some decisions here. So let's see why the Queen of Wands is in your situation. Let me shuffle them for a minute because I didn't pre-shuffle before. I just chose this deck randomly. I was going to use a different one, but I was called to this one, so... Give me one second. Okay, that's good. All right, Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with a Leo. 
Okay, that's way too many. I'm taking those back. There's a whole handful in there. There's a queen of wands here for cancer singles. Okay, so I was having I had to be quiet there for a second because I was getting so many messages in. Um you, there's this person, whether it be you or somebody that you have recently connected with, um, they are truly um, one that works with the divine. They truly know how to manifest. They have been through a lot of difficult lessons. They're very um, connected to the esoteric. They're very intuitive. Um, they're currently like trying to manifest um something they're currently working on weeding out the options uh cancer singles why is the six of pentacles here they're also trying to you know find balance in their own life wow yeah they could have uh or they they have recently moved away from a situation that somebody was not uh giving them the time and attention they deserved or needed they have been working very hard to get to this status. Either you or this is you, Cancer. Um, the seeds of intention have been planted. They healed from the imbalance or the lack of energy or attention they got in a past relationship. Um, they have been learning and growing very quickly. And this, for some of you, could be your divine masculine that you're uh, that you have your eye on, or this is or. There's a very strong energy here. They're also, um, it's also an energy of, wow, there's temperance in the ace of pentacles. So this is here for you. This most definitely is somebody who is a beautiful vibrational match for you. They have been healing. They work with the divine. They heal. They all are a healer. And this door is going to open up for you, Cancer Singles. Um, if this is you, then you're going to open the door up for somebody else. Let's see if... Who's this page of wands? Yeah, so in the past, um, they, this offer wasn't being made. There was somebody quite selfish in your energy, Cancer, or it could be you. But that is a thing of the past. You're moving forward. You're looking to somebody new. Why is this King of Wands here in the foundation? This is a, this is a divine uh, partnership. This person... You have been stressing out over whether or not this person was coming back. You have just recently released that stress and anxiety about what is going to happen. Where is this going? Am I going to find love? Is love coming in for me? Um, as you're learning to forgive and heal, that is exactly what the Seven of Pentacles and Temperance is. Being patient with your forgiving and learning process. Um, you have released the worry. And that is why... It is now coming in because when we hold on to that outcome, when we hold on to, and that's the truth, 100%. Once you release the worry and stress about them coming back and you focus on your healing and your growing, a door of opportunity is opening up. You are moving to Paradise Island with your divine partner. You are that perfect vibrational match. And in the near future, your soulmate is returning or you are meeting this person. Whether you know them already or not, this is the truth. You're coming out of an awakening and, and that love that is meant to be, you know, that equal reciprocity is coming in for you. A balanced, fair, loving relationship is coming in for you. In the time of Libra, you got the Ace of Pentacles twice. Uh, huge doors of opportunity opening. Wow. Before the full moon. Before the full moon in October, before October 13th, communication is coming in. Cupid's arrow is flying and they're flying in quick. Um, that You could be dealing with a fire sign cancer, but either way, you have a spark of an idea, a creation, something you want to create, um, abundance coming in for you, passion, love, truth and understanding. Huge new beginning for you here, um, Cancers, as soon as you release that uh, the heaviness of this connection and release the outcome, 
your perfect vibrational match is coming in for you. Before the full moon, on the 13th of October, you will hear from this person, for sure, for you Cancer singles. Beautiful reading. Now, now you should see your monthly reading for October. It's just, it's mind-blowing. It's probably the best monthly reading I've done this month, for sure. Okay. Cancer couples. You're intuitively being guided to move forward. Um, things are being illuminated. Your path is being shown to you um, of how to come to the place of that self-love. Um, also, it, the moon, your intuition is leading and guiding you to a relationship that is love overload. It's overflowing. Um, it's new life. New, new life to an old relationship could be like renewing your vows. Um, what's the recent past for our cancer couples? Whoa. And um, I said this in the fire sign reading too. If you're in between relationships and separation for somebody, waiting for somebody to come back, I encourage you to watch both singles and couples because um, a lot of times the messages will, uh, you know, you'll have messages in both because you're kind of in that limbo. In your recent past, you have judgment. Near future for Cancer couples today in love is the Two of Swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck and foundation of your reading is the Emperor. In the near or in the crowning of the reading is communication, dealing with a past life soulmate. Wow, you guys, you guys are definitely this definitely has messages on both sides for those of you in limbo. Because in the near future, you have a past life soulmate coming back or coming into your life. Um, taking that leap of faith with them will bring in a long-term commitment for you and a stronger connection with the divine. Um, you know, stepping into your purpose, bringing in a windfall of blessings for those of you that that resonates with. Okay. Yeah, because I used a different deck and the clarifiers were these cards in the singles reading and now they're your main cards. And they didn't come out in this deck. It was in this one that they came out in. So most definitely if you are in that in-between uh, phase, I would stick around. All right, Cancer Couples. Why do we have the Moon and the Ace of Cups? Why do we have the Moon and the Ace of Cups? Moon and the Ace of Cups. All right, there's that fool. Okay, so like I was saying with the singles reading, um, you Cancers, you guys are at a huge turning point in your life. Um, big changes coming up for you because decisions have to be made. I was saying that before I, I even started because... Um, of your monthly reading, but you're intuitively being guided. Your path is being illuminated to you and your person that you're meant to be in a couple relationship with is being pulled to you as well. It's see it, the like duality, the mirroring energy, the moon, like the waves of the ocean are, you know, how they, you know, um, pull them up. The two of you are being like pulled into the same path and not even realize you're being pulled into each other. They're looking up at the moon. They're not looking at each other. But they're going to come to that path and that's when they're going to bump into each other. That's when they're going to see, oh, my person is here for me. The person that is going to give me this cup overfloweth is here. The, what you need to do is step out on that fool's journey. Take that leap of faith on your on your own path. That single energy um, taking that leap, knowing that the divine will catch you, you'll never fall, but always land on your feet because the ground seems to regenerate under his feet no matter what. You see the sun and the moon here, duality again. Um, this could be a very strong spiritual connection, um, as in twin flamer, a uh, strong soulmate energy. But um, that's why it is here with the moon. You're intuitively being guided. So listen to your intuition. It's going to bring you to a place where you'll have a big opportunity for a beautiful loving connection. 
um, that is sent from the divine with that dove there. In your recent past, you have judgment. So you could have heard this wake up call. Yeah. In the past, in the recent past, you heard the wake up call. You heard what the universe was trying to tell you intuitively and you started following that path. This is the same with this card. Look at on both sides, they're mirroring each other. Um, and you stepped into action quick. You could have en had to end another relationship telling the truth. Um, yeah, you, you had to move forward. You could have walked away from this relationship um, because you needed, oops, you needed to receive that healing from the universe. Um, there could have been secrets in the past with this person, but this is quickly coming back together. Why is the emperor here in the foundation? You are dealing with a divine masculine or divine feminine energy. Um, oops, way too many. Why is the emperor here? You also had to, um, you also had to stand your ground to be, to control your own life. You were putting it, your, um, decisions in the hands of other people. So you had to do what was best for you and walk away from a situation that was not giving you what you needed. You had to focus on yourself and, and nurturing and loving um, yourself or they had to do this. For some of you, you had to walk away from a spouse. For some of you, you're waiting for somebody else to walk away from a spouse. But there was heartache and betrayal here in the past. But um, focusing on that love of self is what is bringing this relationship together. You could be married and in a, you know, a separation and that's coming back together. Um, but somehow you're tied to somebody else here, um, bringing it into the couple's energy. Why is this two of swords here in the near future? Why is it two of swords here in the near future? What are they making a choice about? No longer sitting here with a blindfold on, um, letting the universe uh, control or letting other people control what comes in and out for you. You are making your own decisions. You are making, look at that, justice. So for some of you, you are leaving a relationship in sight and set, setting out after this true love. For some of you, um, somebody else is making a decision to leave a relationship, to be in a, a connection with you. Either way, by the time the Libra, um, by the time we are out of Libra season, decisions will be made and uh, communication will be coming in very quickly. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Is there crowning energy? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Thank you. The Ace of Pentacles. Well, hot diggity damn. Look at that. This is coming from somebody who walked away or you walked away from. This is coming from somebody who has been in silence, who has been doing their own inner work. This relationship is going to move um, very quickly, very successfully towards a new life. Um, this is a relationship where there was possible betrayal in the past. Um, somebody was getting cheated out of something, but it's coming back together, healed and ready to love again. This is a huge door of opportunity. Most definitely cancer fem uh Singles and couples, this is a reading that is linked. There's messages for um, you on both sides here. Let's see what this offer is all about. This door of opportunity opening for you to find abundance, happiness, love. Cupid's arrow shooting you right in the, yeah, yep. This is going to eliminate, this communication is going to eliminate any confusion that you have. It's going to bring in that life partner for you. And it's going to give you the opportunity to move forward building that new life. This is moving very slow, but the Knight of Pentacles is the only one on the journey that makes it to the finish line. So slow and steady wins the race. Um, so try to be patient, uh, Cancer couples, if that is resonating with you. Let's get your romance card. I forgot to get that. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you heal from the pain caused of family um, by family members. This could also mean like your spouse if they are the mother or father of your children. This could be siblings, aunts, uncles, grandparents. Healing those issues is going to be able to bring you to that place um, where you can open up and love again. 
All right, Pisces singles. Let's check out what you got going on today, Pisces singles. Pisces singles. Ooh. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Bottom of the deck, however, is pay attention to the red flags. So uh, just be aware of that. We'll see what that's all about here in a little bit. So Pisces singles, what is your situation you're dealing with in love today? Pisces singles. You have death. You're going through a lot of changes, a lot of purging and releasing, a lot of letting go in the recent past. The beautiful thing is, is you're coming out better than ever. In the recent past, the need to uh, take a step out um, of your comfort zone and uh, take that leap of faith in the near future. You have the chariot. Look at that. Huge Pisces. All three major arcanas. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Virgo. We also got Scorpio, Aries, or Sagittarius here. Okay, so... Let me grab a different clarifying deck for you guys. Just give me a minute to shuffle while I receive your messages anyways. Um, so, Pisces, things need to change. Uh, the old way of doing things is not going to move this forward successfully. I do feel, however, you are moving forward successfully, um, but I'm not... I'm not sure that, uh, well, here, let's see what, why is the death card here? For Pisces singles, way too many. Thank you. Wheel of Fortune. So things are changing in your life. The Wheel of Fortune with the death card is a huge uh, need for change. It is meaning you are facing a karmic cycle and things need to be purged out of your life to, you know, to complete those lessons. If you try to hold on um, to somebody of the past, of any of the signs that I just mentioned, the wheel is not going to turn in your favor because it's going to make you complete that karmic cycle again um, because you didn't purge out who you knew. This, I mean, you know who I'm talking about if I'm talking to you. Um, this person could have um, an overindulgence problem and... Really, you feel like you've lost your head after they they left. Um, this is somebody fairly new in your life. The red flags are cautioning you to move forward, to purge that person out of your life. Um, yeah, they're dating other people. In the past, you could have uh, wanted a new beginning. You could have wanted a relationship with this person. Um, they are either connected to a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius female or they are dating a lot of other people besides you and that could have been um what created this uh change this rebirth in your foundation you have the prince of pentacles why is this here things are moving very slow for you or have been and and it's really driving you nuts why is the prince of pentacles thank you the five of shields. Yeah. Uh, earth sign could have left you out in the cold, could have abandoned you. Um, there's some secrets going on here that, that you don't know about and, and needs to be released. Um, I don't feel, yeah, there's that again with the three of cups underneath it and the tower. Yeah. And the eight of cups. This is meant for you to move on from, uh, Pisces. This person will not be back. I'm sorry. I hate to sound like blunt like that. But um, they're, they could have like ghosted you. Like they don't want to communicate for some reason. Because I'm hearing silence. It keeps saying silence. Why is Chariot here in the near future for Pisces? The Knight of Wands. So yeah. You, in the near future, you're moving towards success. You're moving towards victory. You're moving towards healing. Um, from the tower and you're you're gonna have the protection of the divine um 
be cautious of moving towards an energy that is very um very inconsistent in your life why is the knight of wands here with the chariot yeah this person um let me see what do i want you could be like sending out messages and this person isn't answering you back creating a lot of stress and anxiety in the future um there's a lot of emotional manipulation here it could be with a virgo or a gemini as well because they're they're not wanting to move forward with this connection and you could be trying to manipulate them into coming back threatening for some i just heard that threatening but it's really causing you a lot of this sleepless nights this is part of your part of your purging process in order for your blessings to come in in order for you to receive that windfall you need to release what is not serving you um Yeah, you need to you need to allow this change, this transformation. Um, things are going to move whether you want them to or not because the Wheel of Fortune is like a clock. You can take the batteries out of the clock, but time is going to still keep ticking. So this death process is going to keep going, um, and it'll be so much easier if you just go with the flow and allow people to leave your life that are meant to. So blessings can, or the people who are meant to come into your life can. You're broken hearted over this person that retreated from you, but their back is turned. So it's time to heal because they're not going to let that light or that guard down. They're not going to let this, you know, you in, and this can be vice versa. So it's time for you to allow that transformation to happen and cut out of the situation. Um, so your heart can heal. So you can be ready for love. Um, because right now for you Pisces singles, unfortunately, I don't feel you're ready for a relationship. The chariot has to move to the, the star for healing, and you're not quite there just yet. Um, you're still at that, at that um, you know, going within. When you go within, you're going to be able to heal that three of swords. Yeah, I wish I had a better message for you, Pisces, but hopefully that didn't resonate with any of you. I truly hope it didn't, um, but somebody had to hear that. Um, it was important for somebody... Who's been holding on, um, but the universe has been trying to show you, trying to caution you, trying to um, help you move on from this person. So continue, um, continue moving forward towards that healing. So somebody who is meant for you can come in for you. All right, Pisces couples. Pisces couples. Thank you. All right. You have romantic feelings. The feelings are real and worth exploring, but time away from your partner is on the horizon. Your bottom of the deck is give your relationship a chance. So let's see what we have for our Pisces couples. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus couples. Okay. So somebody... Somebody is not listening or, or, or seeing something the universe is trying to show you. You are at a turning point and here for a new opportunity. But you have your back towards that offer. Um, we'll have to get clarification on that. Somebody is having to answer for what they've done in the past as well is what I'm hearing. Why is the, what's in the recent past here? The Eight of Pentacles could be somebody that you work with in the near future, or somebody who's very focused on money in the near future. You have the Empress. Your bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. Your uh, crowning energy is the Three of Pentacles. I'm going to take the Wheel of Fortune because it's a major arcana. A lot of big movement here for you, Pisces um, couples. So I do feel that this is somebody you are like connected to and have been for at least a year because we do have that Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So um, this is somebody that you have been in a relationship and either are in a separation or you're having um, difficulties and thinking about separation. Um, whoa. All right, let's see what this judgment is all about. 
I'll use judgment here in reverse for our Pisces couples. I'll use judgment here in reverse. Thank you. The nine of cauldrons. So somebody is not um, somebody is not realizing what is in front of them because they're they're too focused on either their needs, their wants, pleasing themselves, or they're indulging in drugs and alcohol, and they are like past the F out back there. Um, one way or another, the wake up call needs to be heard. Somebody has to hear or feel their emotions in order to get this new beginning. So you could be in a separation already, and you're waiting for them to realize that this relationship is going to work, or this is you, Pisces. <clears throat> Somebody has to quit numbing their feelings long enough to feel them so they can hear that wake-up call and have this new beginning um, that the universe is, is offering here. In the recent past, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Six of Wands. In the recent past, the work that you guys have tried to put into this relationship, you feel has been unsuccessful. It hasn't been able to move this connection forward in the way that you had hoped. Um, and leaving neither one of you wanting to make a decision, just kind of keeping a blind eye because it's working. So it could be, um, you know, like you just have gotten very comfortable with each other. Nobody's really making that extra effort to keep the spark alive. In your foundation, you have the Ace of Cups. So this is based on love. The two of you truly love each other, but there is some difficult times. Yeah. Yeah, there's addictions here. These addictions need to be you know, need to be put to rest. So the two of you can share your love, either that or um, this is somebody who, or this is releasing the obsessive thoughts about getting this new beginning with your partner. The two of you have built um, a beautiful family together and love will be offered again because the two of you will choose each other. But the inner work has to be done. There has to be some, you know, balancing out of emotions of the light and dark within. Um, there could be addictions here that are, you know, clouding people's feelings. Why is the Empress here in the, in the near future? The King of Cups. Okay, so once again, the emotion is there. It's strong. It's loving. Um, Pisces couples, hmm, there could be, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to finish this one and then I'm going to go back around because I'm now seeing a second storyline that needs to be told. You're coming to a completion point. You're coming to a time where you need to make decisions. Um, you are at a crossroads. Where am I going to go? Where is this going to lead me? I need to make plans for the future. You are going to get a, a beautiful, wow, you're going to get a new beginning one way or another um, with somebody. Okay, so I'm going to go back around for a second before we do your uh, crowning. So for some of you, um, for some of you, or um, you're waiting for somebody to leave a partner, they're numbing their feelings um, so they can stand to be with their couple, their marriage. Um, when you're sitting here offering this new beginning, this beautiful, abundant um, offer is here. In the past, um, this didn't move successfully forward because they didn't have the finances to leave a spouse or a partner, or you didn't, one of the two. Um, the love was real that you guys shared together, um, and they are breaking the bond with this other person. Um, and that's why you two are in separation right now. Their heart lies with the third party. Um, for some of you, you are the one that has a third party or you are the third party. I do not see in this uh, spread this being the spouse that was cheated on. I do feel this is either the third party or the one who had the third party. But that's where the heart lies. With that, in the future, I feel that you will choose the third party, Pisces, or the person you're waiting on will choose you. That's what the separation is all about. They're wondering if these feelings are real. Should I leave my stability and go with this person? Are they real? Yes, they are. If you are the one with the third party, you're realizing um, when you went back to a spouse that the third party is where your feelings truly lie. 
Here's the Three of Pentacles. Let's work this out. The Wheel of Fortune is bringing in change. The cycle is complete. Whoever you're completing the cycle with, it's done and over. Um, moving uh, you forward. You could have been holding on due to children, but you're now coming out of a transformation, enlightened, taking action, and removing yourself out of a situation so you can move into the more spiritual connection with whoever this empress is to you. It can go both ways. You could choose your wife or you could choose the mistress or, you know, man to woman, whatever it is. Um, whatever relationship you feel is the most spiritual is the one you're going to choose, Pisces couples. That's what I see for you guys. So don't hate me. I'm just the messenger, please. Uh, I just deliver it how I feel. Uh, the divine is delivering it to me. So I know if you're the other person, it's not, that doesn't sound very good, but um, it's truly, you're truly moving into a spiritual connection. So you can um, take a higher path to ascension. So you can do um, and give to the universe in whatever way you planned on when you came here. You're, you're getting ready to do your purpose here on earth. So let's do Scorpio here. Sorry, I got to turn. My computer's going crazy. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio single, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do they need to know and love today? Scorpio singles. Very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want so the universe can help you uh, manifest that into your life. Chemistry is the bottom of the deck. So you're being, uh, you're being called to make a decision about what it is that you want to, um, what you want to bring into your life as far as love because there is a love offer coming in for you and it's a beautiful one based on True love, abundant love, self-love, it's all here. Could be coming from a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's get your recent past here. Scorpio singles in your recent past. You have the Queen of Wands in reverse. In your near future... In your near future, Scorpio singles. Ooh, the high priestess duality coming in to a connection with your balance, your, your yin to the yang. Um, in your foundation, you have the six of pentacles. In your crowning, you have the hanged man in the reverse. Things are moving forward for you guys. Um, what do I want to use? I think I'll use this one. Okay, so why is this King of Pentacles here? All right, this is somebody from your past returning with a love offer. This is somebody who broke your heart in the past um, and that created this need for your rebirth to go through a purging and releasing, to go through a growth, a growth period. This is somebody from your past. Um, you could have been part of a third party or uh, or there was just they chose somebody else. Um, you are manifesting this offer back into your life. This is why very soon you need to clearly decide who you want to make this offer, what you want out of love because you, your ships are coming in and whatever your wishes are, they are on that ship. So you are manifesting a love offer from somebody this person could live at a distance from you as well. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Scorpio singles? Yeah. Your, your, you are receiving the relationship that you have been hoping and wishing for. Um, you have connected your heart and soul to the divine, um, filling that cup up yourself. And you're about to build a beautiful family life with somebody of your past. They are coming in, making you an offer, um, putting that old way of doing things uh, in the past and moving forward um, is what they're hoping for. 
Why is the Queen of Wands here in the past? So, in the past, you this person really broke your heart. Um, you had a lot of sadness, a lot of sorrow. They have a lot of regrets for turning your world upside down. Um, but when they left, some of you just quit dating, quit seeing people. Um, you know, the Queen of Wands is somebody who, uh, you know, sees dates a lot of people. You completely, like, cut off your love life. Um, so you could heal from this heartache that was experienced from this person. They are holding on to a lot of regrets. They are learning to let those go, however, um, before they move in and, uh, and make you this offer. You could have been married to this person in the past or they, they regret going back to a spouse and leaving you like this, Scorpio. So if you're a third party, yeah. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, especially, if, you're, if you were a third party and that person left you and went back to a spouse, they're now regretting it for sure. Why is the Six of Cups here in the foundation? This is a past life soulmate you're dealing with, uh, Scorpio singles. Um, when it's in the foundation like that, it always to me is past life. Wow. This person is your soulmate. This person is who you're meant to spend your life with. This person is coming in for you because you have healed. You have taken the time and the work to do what you had to do to get over this heartache of the past. You are now ready for love and, and the universe is delivering your wishes to you. They, The stars are aligning to bring in this relationship in the right way this time. Um, Wow, you've been connected many lifetimes before. Um, the way, of, the old way of doing things is done and over. You are now whole. You are complete. You have learned that cycle, um, learned the lessons, forgave, and moved forward. And that's going to bring you to this beautiful, balanced place where you are very connected to the divine. Your intuition may be just on point right now. Um, starting to awaken to your spiritual gifts, um, seeing things, hearing things. You're stepping into your power, um, learning to uh, hone those in and control them in the near future is what's going to be needed. But you're you're getting back the yin to your yang, however that applies. Getting together, let's work this out. Let's build a strong, solid foundation between you, me, and the divine. And uh, this is going to be working out in the future. Holy cow. With temperance, balance, love, alchemy, the healing Patience. Have patience, Scorpio. The healing process is here. The angels are protecting you and they are bringing the two of you back together um, for a purpose. Um, but most importantly, be patient with your own healing process. Be patient with them returning. It's no race. The divine works on no time. We are the one that creates time. So it creates anxiety and stress and wonder if they're coming back. Release all that worry. Focus on your spiritual gifts right now. And that's going to bring this person into you very, very soon because the delay is over. In your crowning, the hanged man is in the reverse. You are fully enlightened as are they. And wow, the hanged man twice in reverse. The, the delay is over. The change is coming. You're both enlightened. Action is being taken. Whoever needs to cut themselves out of a different situation is doing so and taking action towards you, wanting to work this out. Let's. This is also manifestation of the spiritual into the material, and it's materializing into really your happily ever after. You're building the love life that you're wanting because you're doing it the right way. Communication is coming in very quickly um, from your divine masculine, so the two of you can step into your highest vibration and set out on your soul's purpose together holy shit that is this is a soul's purpose on the path with a divine partner twin flame soulmate look at that oh my god that is absolutely amazing i've never had so many divine cards in major arcana in a reading i swear that's that is crazy so continue doing what you're doing scorpio continue moving forward it is here for you. What you need to do is clearly decide what you want because it's coming in very soon. Have trust, have faith. Your life partner, your spouse of the future is on their way. 
whether you know this person or not, big, big time love is here for you. So decide what it is. Put your order into the universe because they are making your dreams, wishes, and prayers come true in a huge way, Scorpio singles. All right, Scorpio couples. Let's get your divine or your focus card quick. Scorpio couples, what's your focus need to be in love today? Passion and healing family issues. So allow your heart to sing with joy. And when you release the hurt and pain of your childhood or a past childhood hurts, siblings, whatever it is, you will experience more love in your present moments and feel that passion for life again. All right, Scorpio couples, what is your situation? The Six of Wands, victory lap in the recent past. You're moving forward very successfully. It is cautioning you, however, to that you may not be seeing everything. So still be aware, even though you're moving forward uh, with, you know, with victory. Um, don't forget to look behind you is what I just heard. In the near future... Oh, you have the five of pentacles. Okay, maybe that's why, even though you appear to be moving forward victoriously, you're not seeing something. Look behind you in the bottom of your deck, and the foundation is the two of pentacles. Your crowning energy is the seven of pentacles. Okay, Scorpios. I have six of wands here for Scorpio. Okay, okay, I see what this is. So you are, um, you are successfully moving past, um, getting over the past where somebody left you in the dark, left you in the cold, um, walked away from you, making you feel betrayed and lost. This could be, you need to, you need to heal issues with your spouse or your parent that walked away something you're moving forward successfully from the hurt and the betrayal and the coldness and the abandonment of your past. In in the past, somebody withheld from you. They were not giving. They were greedy. They didn't invest their time or emotions into this connection. Why is the four of pentacles here? This could easily be a parent that walked out on you in your childhood. Um, or it could be a spouse that walked out on you in the past. Or you walked out on your spouse. But somebody did what they felt they needed to do. And walked away from somebody who was withholding. Somebody that was not giving the love that they needed. And they did it successfully. So you could be walking away from somebody who did not give to the relationship. You are walking away. Forgiving your partner for not loving you enough is going to bring you in true love. Why is the two of pentacles here in the foundation? The sun. So things were illuminated to you about this person juggling their energy. Um, things were illuminated to you that that shone the light on why they weren't able to truly invest in this connection. And you felt you had to walk away. You're successfully walking away and successfully healing from this situation, Scorpio couples. It is going to return passion into your life. Wow. Okay, so you fear walk in the near future. You could fear walking away from this situation, from this relationship because of financial issues. But by you walking away from this person who is not investing in you enough, by you successfully walking away from this person and leaving the heartache and betrayal behind, you are going to successfully manifest the person that you're meant to be with. By you taking that leap of faith single and having faith in yourself and your journey, the universe is bringing you in a true love situation. Somebody who is not afraid to get their feet wet with you, who will stand next to you and stand through the test of time. And somebody who is truly your lover, truly who you're meant to be with in this lifetime. You have to be patient. However, this cannot happen overnight. Um, wow, look at that. But you're successfully manifesting your perfect vibrational match. You're successfully manifesting somebody who you are truly meant to be with. You could have thought this was a soulmate. They're not. This is. You're manifesting this by you walking away. Um, 
you somebody broke your heart in the past, but you know you still have plenty of love to give. And you are here and ready to um, offer offer that love to somebody. And it truly is manifesting you um, a beautiful, beautiful relationship where your prayers can be answered. And this person can offer you as much love as you offer them, bringing in stability and love once again into your life. So it's time to heal, heal this, Scorpio couples. Let go of this. Heal this. Because when you do, passion will return into your life. And it will bring the perfect vibrational energy into fruition, into, um, into your life. You're manifesting this right now. So be patient. Continue to plant the seeds um, because it's going to grow into something huge for you Scorpio couples that are just getting out of a relationship. All right, guys. I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel. Once again, please subscribe um, if you haven't already. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you being here by um, sharing your spiritual journey with me and letting me share mine with you. Wouldn't be the same without you. Much love. God bless. I got no rules, I count them.